hi guys welcome back again to my channel and to my kitchen I'm going to make you guys up a really fast and healthy juice and the juice that I'm going to be making is a sour sap juice right we're gonna make another sour sap juice we're gonna add a little ray ray and a little lay lay in it so if you don't want to sit on me we got some sour sap juice with a little bit of twist to it hang on and ride my wave Okay guys, so let's talk about this sour sap that I'm going to be making for you guys today. Now when we're there Jamaica, you know, we climb the sour sap tree and we get a nice fresh sour sap and we juice it up and we're sour sap ready. But you know what? Thank God for Ocherius brand juice. I found this into my farmer's market here in Georgia. And I was so happy. Let me find this, guys. Me so happy. Me happy. Me need to jump out of my seat. Yes, I was so happy. I bought two bottles. I made one already for the hubby body. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to make this one up. You can see it has... Let me take out the seed out of it for sure. And you have the chunks of the sour sap inside of here. So I'm going to be making this for you guys today. But the twist to this... So I'm going to be putting in my tiger bone and that is what the tiger right, bone guys, looks like. The other ingredients that I'm going to be using it's my vanilla. I'm going to put one tablespoon of vanilla into it and like I said I'm going to use half a bottle of this tiger bone in there right. I'm also going to be sweetening it with sweetened milk. If you don't want to use sweet milk, you use honey, you use sugar. So, not leaving a message about the sweetening business at all. Because this is my kitchen and I can sweeten it however I want. Alright? Now, I'm also going to be adding this to flavor. A half a teaspoon of allspice, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And that is all that I'm going to be putting into this ingredients. Let's move on. Okay, guys. Now that I open my sour sap right all I'm going to do is pour it out into my blender just like that and then I'm gonna add two cups of water to it okay, I'm gonna put my lid on here and I'm gonna blend away to smooth it so okay guys all I'm doing now I'm just gonna put everything into my container because remember you blend it so everything's smoothed out like a smoothie so you don't have to strain it okay now to that I'm going to add my cinnamon powder, my allspice, and my nutmeg, and all of that is a half a teaspoon of each. Then I'm going to add my tiger bone in there. I'm going to use a half of the tiger bone. Now, if you want to use, it's up to you to know how much tiger bone you want to put in there. But yeah, I'm going to put my tiger bone in this today for the hubby. I'm also going to add a tablespoon of vanilla and then to sweeten I'm going to add my milk to sweeten okay and like I said before you use whatever sweetener that you want to use give it a nice spin so there you have it guys a nice glass of sour sap juice with your ginseng in there. Hope you like it guys. Give this recipe a thumbs up. Let me know if you would like to see me making more juice like that. And don't forget, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy!
gonna let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it's done simmer, a time for eat. So see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. So you don't like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.